Hi, we're the Fig Neutrons. Today we're going to be doing a product demonstration of our polymer injection machine. First things first, you're going to want to do a visual inspection. Uh, make sure that the alignment is good between the actuator and heating chamber. We have these wing nuts on the front and back of every bolt for easy adjustment. Uh, also another key is you're going to want to put a drip pan down before you start the system just in case there's any residue that drips out of the heating chamber. After that, go ahead and plug up. Hit your switch and wait for your system to rise to temperature. While we wait for it to rise to temperature, we can go over a few of the features and controls. Here we have a PID heater, runs off AC power. Uh, it's nominally set at 400. To change temperature is pretty simple. Hold down up or down and adjust accordingly flashes and then it'll set. Here we have the linear actuator controller provides up down motion and the heater and the DC actuator do not work when the e-stop is pressed. Manually reset and your system's operational. So after you reach temperature of 400 degrees uh, or about a 10 minute wait time uh, the system's ready to be loaded. The first step in doing that is unlocking the system. And folding out of the way. The next step is loading material. To do this, you'll use a measuring device, weigh out a specified amount, in our case, we're going to load the barrel with an eighth of a cup. This is polypropylene. The system can be used with polyethylene as well, as well as various other thermoplastics. So we'll let that have some melt time, usually 10 minutes. All right, so we've given the machine about 10 minutes to ensure that all the plastic is molten and we're going to begin injection. First step, remove your collection pan, place your mold, raise it to the nozzle. Submerge the nozzle. Make sure that your mold is clamped. Ours were stolen, so we are using tape for now around the sides temporarily. All right, we're ready to inject. Slowly jog the barrel down. We've given the mold about two minutes to cool, and now it's time to extract it. You want to take a small flat-headed object like this screwdriver and working with a prying motion from the sides. And then Insert in the sprue area underneath of the product, get under the part. All right, so as we've shown, we have a process for injection molding now, and uh, our options are only limited to the molds we can create. I want to go over a few tips and recommendations we have for sustainability and maintenance with this machine. Uh, first being plunger tolerance. This copper pipe has thermal expansion properties that actually widen the diameter slightly in operation and the plunger can sometimes collect plastic. If this happens you can take the jog the plunger down until it sits in the barrel and then wait for the plastic to melt and you'll have a good tolerance once again. Okay so now that we've made our part we're done with the machine. Before we shut down, we want to go ahead and clear out all the plastic out of the barrel that may remain. So we'll go ahead, uh, unlock it, switch it back to manual position. Take our included plunger. And go ahead and exit the rest of the plastic. Well, that concludes our tutorial. Uh, remember safety first, wear your gloves, wear your glasses. And uh, thanks for your attention.